Hey guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to create your own digital stickers on Procreate. This is one of my favorite apps to use for digital stickers. I really hope you enjoy this video. So let's get started. So let me start off by talking about the materials I will be using to create the digital stickers. Of course, I will be using my trusty iPad. I currently use my pink iPad Air, and this iPad has been my go-to ever since I bought it. Um, I'm also using my second generation Apple Pencil. This is also a must when creating digital stickers on Procreate. I cannot imagine creating stickers without it. And it has my silicone case on it. I will link my Amazon storefront down below for you guys. If you're interested in grabbing it, you can. And of course, this tutorial is all about how to make digital stickers on Procreate. So you will need the app, of course. It is sold exclusively on the App Store and currently costs $12.99. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Procreate. I like to keep the canvas big, so I always go for the screen size option. This is so that I can maintain the quality of the sticker design once I size it down. Otherwise, if I enlarge it later on, it will look pixelated and we don't want that. So if you have any idea on what stickers you'd like to create, that is great. That's awesome. I always recommend you start with an idea. But if you don't have an idea on what kind of stickers you would like to create, it's always fun to get some inspiration from different places. My favorite place is Pinterest. Keep in mind that you are going to go just for inspiration as creative block is a real thing. I usually like to have an idea in mind as well as a color scheme I'd like to go with. Otherwise, I'll probably be staring at my screen for a while and that's not fun. So you can choose your colors based on the planner or journal you will be using your stickers on or based on a theme you are going for, such as a season or a holiday. If you don't know how to match colors on Procreate, I will show you a quick tip. So like here, I am downloading this image, going back to Procreate, and then here I'm gonna click on this little plus sign. I'm gonna click on new from photos, and then from there, I'm gonna pick the photo I just downloaded. And Procreate will create a color palette based off of that photo and then here you can name it it's a really cool feature I really love this from procreate I also recommend that you turn on the drawing guide grid you can do this by selecting the wrench icon and toggling it on under canvas this helps a lot so that you can draw straighter lines and then from here you can see that I can change my grid size I can even change the line color um, and then the opacity as well and you will notice that you have a lot of brush options to choose from but I will be using the monoline pen under calligraphy exclusively for this tutorial usually you'll want to use different types of brushes if you are drawing or uh, doodling something specific that requires a different type of texture so now here I'm gonna be showing you all my different stamp sets so what stamp sets are they're basically a way for you to be able to make digital stickers in a much quicker way you can make an entire set in just a few minutes with these so that is always something to try out if you don't want to spend a lot of time creating stickers you can get these off of Etsy and a lot of shops usually bundle up their products so you could grab a great deal and a quick tip if you plan on selling your stickers be sure to purchase stamp sets and pattern paper that allow you to sell your designs you'll want to look for products that say for commercial use the same goes for fonts you use for stickers if you are unsure you can always message the seller and ask so here I just grabbed one of my stamp sets and I'm changing the size you can also change the opacity right here if you'd like to do that and of course I changed my color to whatever color I want and there you have a little sticker so this is what I'm talking about when I say how easy it is to create when you have stamp sets so I don't really like how dark my grid line is so I actually lowered the opacity on that and now I'm going to duplicate my sticker I'm gonna create different variations of it it's so easy to create different variations of stickers by adding a new layer and by duplicating your stickers so here you can see that I quickly made a second sticker. It was super quick. And then I recommend to turn snapping on. You can also turn on magnetics, which will just make it even more magnetic-y. It'll like help you a lot more if you wanna kind of level it up to your other stickers. So I just like to keep snapping on. I don't really like magnetics. I feel like they pull too much and I don't really like that. So now I'm just gonna keep duplicating and I fast forward through this process so you don't have to 
watch me do it really slowly as I create these. So I'm just kind of picking out from different colors on the color palette and seeing what looks good together and what I want to create for my entire sticker collection. So here I'm also going to show you how to create a shadow. So I duplicated my sticker and now I'm going to choose a dark color. I'm going to put that dark color right under, as you can see right here, that the bottom layer of that color is black. So from here, I'm going to go into my little magic wand, turn on Gaussian Blur, make sure that layer is turned on. And then here, I'm going to hold my pencil down and I'm going to slide it to the right so that I can increase or decrease my blur. You can see here the blur is getting bigger or smaller as I lower and increase. So here I'm also going to go and click on the little N icon and I'm going to lower the opacity so it's not super strong and I'm going to leave it at around 80% and I like how that looks so I'm going to pinch them together so that it flattens and the whole design is one now with the shadow. If you don't want to keep them like this, you also have another option of grouping them. So here I'm going to actually use two fingers to go back a step and you will see here that I have my layers back. So I'm actually going to group them and this is a better way to not permanently keep them together just in case you want to change the design later on. Now I'm going to show you a cool trick to use for clipping masks. So here I just went to my wrench tool, I went to add, insert a photo and I inserted the photo I downloaded beforehand. And now I'm placing it on top and I'm clicking on the image and going to clipping mask. So now this allows the design to go on the sticker that's right below it. And then you could click the selection tool so that you can actually move the design around the photo around the sticker. I think this is a really cool feature if you want to add some fun designs that you have or some pattern paper that you may have. And then you just pinch them together to keep them together permanently. So that is also another neat way to make some fun looking stickers. Now I'm going to turn off the background color so that I can see what the stickers would actually look like once I export them. So I didn't like that they were transparent so I added a little light white color inside of the heart stickers. So I recommend you always turn off your background color so that you can see exactly how they're going to look like. Um, now I'm going to show you the next set of stickers which is the apes and icon sticker. So this is a very common sticker to make and I just drew a rectangle and then now I'm clicking on the selection tool and then making sure that I can straighten this out because I don't want any slanted stickers and it's really easy to use with this tool so I'm just gonna straighten it out so that it looks good where I am placing it and now I will just fill in this rectangle with the color and it's so easy to do this you can just easily drag the color onto the design and it'll fill it all up. Now I'm gonna add a new layer. It's always important to create new layers when designing your stickers so that you can go back and change colors. And it's also super easy to draw a perfect circle or square with the help of Procreate. It allows you to easily do that. So I love that and you don't have to be taking forever to draw a circle. Now I'm gonna group these together and then I'm gonna duplicate the design so I can make my next sticker. So I will create the same sticker as the one above except this time I will be using my pink color and it's super easy to do this as you can watch in this tutorial that I am simply just holding down on the color and then placing the color right inside of the layer where it's supposed to go. And then same thing with the clipping mask, I go to add, insert a photo. I insert the photo from last time and I place this on top of my design and then I'll go back into my layers panel, click on the layer that has the photo, I put it above the layer that it's supposed to go on, click on clipping mask and it'll automatically clip onto the sticker. Isn't that such a cute sticker? I love those. Okay. So now I will be doing the next set of stickers, which I've decided to show you how to make these little washi tape stickers. So if you have stamp sets, these are super quick to make. So you can just use a stamp set and then change the color, but I'll be showing you how to make some on your own if you decide you don't want to buy stamp sets. 
Um, it's super easy to make as well. So all I do is I draw a rectangle. Then I use my eraser and you can actually pick a brush with your eraser. So as you can see here, I'm testing out different brushes and seeing what kind of look I like. I usually go for my stamp set so I don't really make them on my own, but it's fun to test things out as well. If you want a more straighter line, you can actually use the mono line pen and you just make it look like it's ripped. So it's pretty simple to do this as you can see here. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side to sort of give it that ripped effect look. And now I'm actually gonna draw a little design on it. And so I'm gonna use my monoline pen to sort of draw these little squiggly lines on the sticker. And then I'm gonna go back into the layer and click on clipping mask and that'll make the design stay inside of the sticker so that's really fun and then here i'm just duplicating the sticker and creating the same versions but different colors now this is why i mentioned that layering is very important because as you saw there the lines were also turning sort of blue when i did that so now i'm just gonna instead show you a different type of sticker so same thing washi tape type of sticker so i'm just gonna use the little pen instead of the eraser this time and i will sort of draw some more ripped edges and i'm gonna fill this in with my blue color and then i'm gonna also go in and add a new layer and i'm going to create little stars using one of my pen sets so i'm going to change the sizing of my little stars and this is the look that i'm going for so i really Really like that and now I'm going to click on the selection tool and I'm gonna go down to warp and this allows me to kind of change the sizing of the whole entire design so now I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm just gonna create another variation of it make sure to go back and change it to uniform so that I can move it um, and then here I'm just changing it to the green color and now I'm gonna make a yellow color so that it can match the other stickers and now I will do the same thing that I've been doing this whole entire time with the clipping mask I think you already know how to do this so I'm not gonna go through it again um, but now I'm gonna actually create some text stickers so I go to my wrench tool and I go to add text right here and then I can start writing some text so text stickers are really fun to create for me but I feel like they take up so much time for me just because I have a lot of fonts and this kind of takes me a while to sort of figure out what fonts I want to use for stickers and like I mentioned before it's really important for you to buy commercial use fonts and I always recommend it just in case like you might not be planning on selling them right away or you think you might not want to sell them but then eventually you do so it's just easier to buy commercial use fonts and not have to figure it out later so here you can see that it's taken me a while to figure out which font I am gonna use and honestly I fast forward this like super fast because it took me forever but it's super easy to create these text stickers you just choose your font and whatever phrase you want to create and then here I am changing the leading to kind of make it go closer together instead of being so far apart and now I'm just using my selection tools so I can minimize the size and I'm gonna place them down here and I like how that looks so I'm gonna keep it like that and then now I will duplicate it and add different colors for it and I kind of checked to see how the clipping mask would work and I didn't like how it looked so I just left them on color now I'm gonna add a new layer so that I can create a new sticker with this orange color. I'm gonna change my pen back to the monoline pen. And then I'm gonna create a square post-it note. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. And this is one of my favorite ways to create post-it notes. So as you can see, I'm just filling up the layer with the color and the second layer with a lighter color. And then I'm going to change the border color as well and it lightened it up a little bit more and that's how I like it. So now I'm just going to draw a little design on these sides and there you have it. 
Now I'm gonna add a little bit of bullet points on the side, kind of like a to-do list sort of thing, whatever you wanna use it for. Um, so it's super simple to do this. You're just duplicating the little circles and then I'm gonna group them all together so that I can move them and place them exactly how I want them. You can even use this time to minimize or expand. I wouldn't recommend to expand because it looks more pixelized, but um, you can do this to place them exactly how you want. And so now I'm just gonna group this entire sticker together so that I can easily duplicate the design and make a new one. So now I'm just gonna change the color of each one of these. Now this is a little bit tedious, but it's su super simple. It just takes a little bit of time. So now I'm gonna create a new sticker and this is a new post-it note. And as you can see here, it's super simple to change it to an actual square using Procreate. And then I just like to straighten things out a bit. I'm filling in the whole post-it note with the color and I'm creating a new layer because I want to create a shadow effect. So I'm gonna go into my magic wand, click on Gaussian blur and then slide it, lower the opacity. And then that's how I like it, right at 45%. And then I'm kind of gonna use the warp tool so that it kind of it looks like the post-it note is going up a little bit. I really like that look. Now I'm gonna add a little like washi tape type of look. So I added a new layer and I kind of minimized my pen right there. And then just drawing a little washi tape look and then filling it in. Sometimes I need to like really zoom in to get those lines correctly and then I'm also going to be creating a shadow effect for the washi tape so I do the same exact thing it's super simple to do this and then you just find the exact look you're going for I'm also going to lower the opacity here and that looks good to me so now what I'm going to do is group these together so I can create one more sticker just like this one and create it sort of a pink color like this. I really like that. So as you can see here, I am gonna change this to look kind of like it's folded. So I'm actually gonna do alpha lock so I can draw within the design without actually drawing on the outside. That's what alpha lock helps for. And then I'm gonna use my eraser tool to sort of erase the bottom right there, the corner. And now it kind of looks like it's folded. So it's pretty cute. I love doing that to my post-it notes. And so next I'm gonna be showing you the last type of sticker design which is the picture frame so I'm just gonna make sure it's on monoline make sure I add a new layer right in there I will draw a blue rectangle and with the help of procreate I can draw a perfect rectangle and then I will just use the selection tool to sort of help me straighten that out and then next I'm going to be adding a new layer and drawing a sort of square so that is where the photo is going to be placed and then again with the help of procreate I'm creating this to be a perfect square and then I'm going in and changing the entire background to blue and then as you can see I ended up enlarging it just because I thought it needed to be a lot bigger and uh, I like a whiter color so now I think it's a good idea to add some text to this so I'm gonna go in and add text and then just think of a fun phrase so here I wrote life is good and then I sort of changed the leading so that the words could be closer together and then with text it's really easy to enlarge it without changing the pixelation because it is text so it looks good like that and then now I will group these together and I will create a new version but with this next version that I want to create I'm gonna delete the text because I'm actually gonna use clipping mask again so with the help of the clipping mask I will add in the same exact design I've been adding so I just go to my wrench tool click add insert a photo and then click the photo that I want so you can always enlarge it so that it looks a lot better and bigger however you like and then I'm gonna click on clipping mask make sure it's above the layer that it's supposed to be on so that this works and then here you can change the design around you can move it around so that you can place it right where you like it so this is how I like it now I'm gonna create another version of this sticker but I kind of want to make it smaller so I'm going to put it right below the sticker and what I'm going to do is go back to my layer and then I'm going to 
click the selection tool and make sure it's not on uniform make sure it's on free form so that it doesn't all move together and then I'm just gonna move it up a little bit and there you have it now I kind of want to figure out what I want to do next with this little sticker because I feel like it's missing something so I'm actually gonna add a little sticker at the bottom sort of like a washi tape so I added a new layer and I'm gonna go in here and start drawing something sometimes I just like to draw something until I figure out what exactly it is that I want to add I know something's missing so I just figure it out as I draw so I like it with this color and there you have it these are the stickers and these stickers are actually also currently free right now so if you want to grab it you can grab it on my freebie library which will be linked down below and in here all I'm doing is just making sure that these are all merged together and flattened so that once I go to save them they all look really good and aren't missing pieces and then I turn off background color so that I can see if there's anything that I don't like uh, because this is what the stickers are gonna look like so right here I can see that these words they're gonna be clear and I don't want them to be clear like this I want to add white to it just so that it looks a lot better once they're placed on my planners and journals so I'm gonna do that really quick and then I also think I want to add a shadow to it so I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna create a sort of shadow behind it but I'm gonna create it to be white so here you can see that I'm coloring in the background layer I just turned off this layer so I wouldn't see it and I could clearly see what I was drawing. So now I'm just going to go into Gaussian Blur, make sure the blur is exactly how I like it and the opacity as well. Once I like it, I'm going to duplicate it and I will add it to my other one. So I will just place it right behind it. Super simple since these are all the same size, I just duplicate it and add it right under each of the stickers and once i like it i will merge them together so that they can be flattened so i'll go back into the layers panel and pinch them together to merge them together and now they are all one sticker and there you have it now i'm going to show you how to actually place them into your planner or journal so here i just went into split view and then you can go straight from your layers inside of procreate and actually place them right in just like i did here you'll just need to crop them and then another way to do this is by going into procreate clicking share share image as pngs and now it's exported into your camera roll so here on good notes you can easily place them in using the camera roll tab and then i'm sure you could do this with other apps as well and then you can just crop them like i'm doing here and it's super simple and super quick and another thing i love about this is that you can also save them as an element so you can do this quickly and easily right here i'm just adding a photo and then i love this little thing i put at the bottom like sticker type because i can write something in it so the way you save this as an element is by lassoing it and then once you lasso it you just click on it you tap on it and then you click on add elements right here and then you can add this to a new collection title the collection whatever you want so i just put photos and then you create your little collection and there you have it so now you can go back in and use the sticker whenever you'd like i really love this feature and i will be sure to add a lot more stickers to my planner and personalize it just how i like it all right you guys and that concludes today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned something new and if you have any questions please leave them down below i am happy to answer any and all questions for you and until next time happy planning